Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you guys the best M16 gunsmith build for Season 9 of Legendary ranked inside of Call of Duty Mobile. So talking a little bit about the gunsmith build straight away, we are going to be rocking with the monolithic suppressor, the red dot sight, the OWC laser tactical, the granulated grip tape, and I'm going to be rocking with the 39 extended round on this gun. And um, I chose not to put a barrel on this weapon because the marksman barrel has significant downsides and it would significantly reduce the ADS time. And I think the overall raw implications of the range already on the gun is sustainable. You definitely don't need something that's going to extend it even more and also reduce your mobility because with the M16, it is sort of hard to use in terms of uh, moving around a little bit. And you, the ADS time is already kind of lacking. So if you were to negate that even more on this specific weapon, and considering that it is a burst weapon inside the game, it would definitely not help your case. So definitely, you know, you definitely don't need it. But if you do absolutely need to, just know that if you do decide to put it instead of, I would definitely recommend using it instead of the granular grip tape. Make sure you use the 39 round extended mag. And I'm going to talk about it wide right now. And it's because due to the sole reason that Call of Duty Mobile in this season basically buffed the firing rate of the burst weapon itself so now it'll be bursting even faster so i noticed that when you do not have an extended mag on you run out of ammo so quickly with this weapon it feels like you're using a type 25 which makes no sense so therefore you do need an extended mag for this weapon and i recommend like i said the minimum one now will do the most for you because it allows you to get the um triple kills quadra kills and pentakills all with one mag if you absolutely need to and in this gameplay, obviously, I am, you know, playing a little bit more conservative, playing a little bit more slow because it is burst weapon. I'm not really too much of a fan of burst weapons, but I try to make sure that when I do get these gameplays, this is a really high guild gameplay. Um, and this gameplay specifically, um, I dropped 50 kills in. And so, you know, it was definitely a high kill gameplay. Nonetheless, talking a little bit about the weapon itself in terms of its usability. Overall, a great weapon. You can definitely play aggressive now with it. And, you know, it's just so hard to not put this weapon in the top five, but there's just so many other weapons that are just so much more dominant. But regardless, like, this gun is amazing. I mean, they, they did, you know, Con Mobile did a good job buffing it, um, and I think it's actually usable now. It's a very fun gun to use. It's like one of those guns where if you're really bored of using the meta weapons, um, use the M16. Because the M16, even though it did get buffed, right, it's not a meta weapon, right? It's not being used by every single person in Legendary Rank. You either got the Switchblade, the Holgers, the Kilos, the M13. So, like... It's really hard uh, to go against those weapons, but if you know exactly what you're doing and how to play and how to position yourself, this weapon is going to be really fun to use. I've had a lot of fun using this weapon, and it's one of the better weapons inside of Call of Duty Mobile in terms of non-meta category. So overall, you know, you can play aggressive, passive. I would say it's much more of an objective weapon. You can definitely slay out with it. But like I said, it's not really that ideal. This weapon really takes advantage of the long range gunfight category. I mean, it just kills people within two bursts. So it's really good to use. And especially on a map like Nuketown, Hardpoint, you can do a lot of good work on this map. And considering how close range it is too, it definitely excels as well in that department because then you're able to close the gap. Because keep in mind with the burst weapon, you are playing a little bit differently. You're playing a little bit more smarter. You're trying to reserve that ammo as much as possible and really hone in on your aiming because if you miss you're just going to keep m missing bursts and that's not good and with these burst weapons specifically like the m16 when you're just shooting and you're pre-firing things rapidly you're going to lose accuracy with the gun so that's why it's really important to go with a build that's going to be really good on its bsa because if you're pre-firing and pre-aiming things um, especially in this video as you constantly see in this gameplay like you'll see times where i'm just pre-firing stuff or i'm just going to pre-fire like right here like you know if they just happen to run into my red dot side and I just kill them, it's really, you know, a rare occurrence. So you got to be very careful when you are using this and just keep shooting because you will lose accuracy. This one thing about burst weapons in the game is that they're technically a lot harder to use because of that reason alone. And as well as, you know, it's it takes time. You have to be patient and, you know, it's just one of those things where you just have to be careful. So and really making sure that you're using good movement is really good too because that's how you're going to counter a lot of meta weapons um, especially when you're going against people who are tryharding a lot so like i said just make sure you're using the map to your advantage and the gun will excel and the gun will do everything for you overall i would say that this gun for me is a 10 out of 10 definitely definitely make sure to use it show it some love inside the legendary rank even though you may not be a fan of burst weapons like myself give it a chance you know it's always a good thing to try new things inside of call of duty mobile and it definitely spices up the game a lot more and makes it more fun to play 
So, you know, yeah. And like I said, guys, I want to say thank you so much yet again. If you have made it this far into the towards the end of the video, I definitely appreciate it. I sincerely appreciate it. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys honestly think about this weapon in particular. Is the M16 viable? Do you guys think the M16 deserves a spot within the top 10 category of Call of Duty Mobile currently in the season? And I would also like to know what gunsmith build you're rocking with this weapon. There could be some gunsmith builds, you know, that are even better than mine. Um, and like I said, don't forget to, you know, leave a subscribe, drop that subscribe button, leave a like because we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the game plan. I'll see you guys uh, in the next one. Peace.